And why I accept it? That's I, a good, better that, question. That's a better question. I, I think I never been placed in some sort of um, histories of art, as Carolyn proposed. You know what I mean? My work being placed uh, among different lines of uh, historical movements in art. This is the first time, and I never been placed in this way. So to me, it was an interesting experiment. And I studied arts in Argentina, and I did study Arte Povera. And ah. funny enough, and I think the Arte Povera artists may like this, the fact that we in Argentina, back in the late 90s, non-internet world, we studied out of photocopies of the books. Wow. That, because they're too expensive, you cannot buy them. So the photocopy of the photocopy of the photocopy and keeps on, you know, organically degrading the quality of the image. So I remember studying the igloos and so many other works that just has very... You mean the Mario Mertz? Yes, very yeah. blurry, blurry noise. Ah, it was the like the phantom of... The of the... <laughs> it's a very entropic material that ah. we study with. And that excites imagination, I feel, yeah. because you feel a lot of I think so. But I reacted to Adrian's work very early. I think, uh, player, 2010, 2011. something like that. And I think it was because I I felt a legacy of Arte Pobre. But while Judith is leaving, maybe we could just show one of the nests. Yeah, of 